Hello, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. What's today's video about? Exhaust time. I mentioned this right at the start that I would be changing the exhaust. Don't get me wrong, if you haven't rode a Triumph before, it's a must, okay? It is honestly a must. I've had an awful lot of Triumphs, load of videos on my channel, and at the end there's the little squares around the outside, I've put in there the trophy, the, the rocket, the 955, the sprint, the STs, the god, 800 tigers, you know. I've had an awful lot of Triumphs, and I do like them. Now they're triples, so you don't get like the Versus and the other twins, you know, Legend of Ducati, you don't get that um, grunt power or no power for some of the small duck um, twins but you do get this in between of four do you know there's that nice in between you know a lot I like for inline fours they're beautiful bikes it's got lots of torque not the throttle back and it pulls I love all that but a triple you get best of the both worlds now we don't get with original exhaust is a nice sound and that's what today's video is going to be about so as I said originally, I didn't want to pay a load of money, you know, three, four, five hundred pound for an exhaust. I also didn't want a crap one. Now, I don't want to put in the same line as crap, but I've had your Delkovic and all that sort of ones. And they're great, nice, shiny. They do the job. They sound great. You can't knock them. I did inquire about a Lex Tech one. A couple of people said them ones as well, but I didn't really get anywhere with the company, so I didn't bother. So I'm on the old Tinternet, as they call it. And I found a couple, and again, they were going for 200 odd pound. Someone said Mark, Black Widow, Arrow, and all the names came up. And I found a bargain on the internet. And as someone suggested, Mark, go and Arrow, which I did. Now, there's only one sort of thing wrong with this. Not for road use. Mmm, is it not? Now, <laughs> some MOT inspectors, they don't like this. And you can sort of dribble it away and put some paint on it, but they know what you've done. So I've got the visual exhaust, just means for the MOT, if he does mention anything, I'll put the visual one back on again and slap this one on there. Um, depending on what copy you get. It's raised, so it's probably nice to just rub away anyway. You get the exhaust, you get the link pipe, and you even get the springs. Does anyone notice? Uh, by the way, the dog's not here, that'd be gone, wouldn't it? <laughs> Dogs went in here for one, should be here later. Did anyone notice what's missing? The hanger. You know, I, <laughs> although I looked at the advert several times, I didn't notice it had no hanger. Now, you can either go, oh God, no, what am I gonna do? And and run around headless, you know, McCormie Cockney, whatever his name is, back in the uh, house thing days, whatever that was, you know, um, it's home alone, there you go. Memory's gone, nearly 50. So, or you can do a Mark Savage. You can look in all your cupboards and think, have I got a hanger there? And I've got loads of exhaust upstairs. And I found this carbon hanger. I also found another metal one, it's way too small. This one is too big. What do you do? Go back to the internet? No, you improvise. Because that's what doing a Mark Savage is about. Improvisation. I can just go on the internet. I probably could just buy one on there for that model. I don't know, 10, 20 quid and get to do it. But I want to do it today. So today, I'm improvising. I've got a hanger. I've got an exhaust. It's way too big. So what do you do? You remember, you've got some speed fight parts. And I do have some. You know, I'm not going to give them away or anything, I just keep them. This was for an LC. This was for the, uh, obviously, radiator to the engine. And I thought, well, this is pretty much heat proof. It's not burning proof, so it wouldn't last on the top end, the headers and everything else, but it will on the exhaust. So what do you do? You cut a bit off, you open it up, then you half it, then you put that inside the hanger, and guess what it does? It holds it nicely. In fact, very nicely. So that's what I'm gonna do. I may slip one there as well if it's not tight as I want it to, because I don't want it to move, do you? So I may slip that in there like that and just halfway round and see what it does. But that's what I'm gonna be doing. So, simple, isn't it? Put that in there like that, put that around the exhaust, take the old one off, put the new one on, job done. 
What do you all want to hear first though? You want to hear what it sounds like now, and then I'm going to fit it, and then I'm going to show you before and after straight away. Okay, I'm not going to start it now, say so listen to it, and then you, you're going back and forth on my video. I'm going to do a ride out video as well. I've got the helmet cam from Jamie over the road. Thank you so much for that. A ride out video is coming. But this is riding beautiful now I've done under servicing. And now I'm going to change the exhaust. So, it isn't hard with this one. I've had quite a few exhausts that are bloody hard. This is just simple. It's an all-in-one down to here. Cover comes off. Take that out. And then it just comes off with a bolt under there. So this should be piss easy. And I'm going to put the new one back on with my new hanger. And then we're going to go from there. So, not going to show you that. The boys left too much. Cut the bolts. So, here is the bike, what it sounds like now. And then you're going to hear it straight after what it sounds like with this one. No baffle, off the road one. But I want to be seen and I want to be heard. No bugger's going to knock me off the side. I didn't hear him coming. Oh, dearie me. Not going to happen to me. Fingers crossed and you see next bit I'll get splattered. Oh, well. Moving on. Right, here we go. This is what it sounds like now. What? Alright, it really wasn't as simple as plug and play. Um, you don't want to hear that, do you? So this was too small. The, the old pipe, the down pipe, was about 3mm smaller than that one, so it don't go in. So when you try and ram it in, it puckers up, let me show you. It puckers up all this bit, so I had to actually get that out. Turn it round because it was just knackering it basically. It was never going to go in there, it's about three mil wider. Um, this bolt, I don't know where it's supposed to go, what it's supposed to do, it doesn't do nothing. Uh, the frame I've got on there is alright, that's good. But to get this bolt here that's underneath the framework, I've got panniers in the back box, and normally it would have been just two bolts off. So you may not have this complication. If you've got luggage, you're going to you have to get the luggage, side luggage off, lift it up to get to this bolt because otherwise you can get it there, but you can't get the bolt in. Now, also, the uh, hanger comes back here. So again, you've just got to look at things. Making a little bracket, I'm gonna, uh, you're not gonna see this, it's gonna be right up here. And that goes underneath it, so you're not gonna see it, but I'm just tidying it up anyway, good solid steel. So the bracket comes back here, that goes to there, so that's what I'm doing. I've got a slide bit on this one I've made. So that will then secure it nicely, that'll be in there nicely, tie it all back up, put it all back on again, and then you'll get just here, go vroom, vroom, vroom. So, <laughs> You just don't see all these little bits, you know? Um, but there you go, I'm gonna make it all look pretty, get it all on there, angle it, everything else, put the bolt in, put the other bolt in, put it all back on again, and then you're gonna hear, and I'll do it again for you. The before sound, which is gonna be this now, and then straight after, what it sounds like. Also, I'm just gonna sand that little bit, it says not road use. I know that people are gonna see it, but, well, no one's gonna see it, because it's right under here. But, you know, I'm just gonna do it, because I want to do it. I want to hear what it sounds like, that's what I really want to do, which you do as well. So let me stop talking, let me stop showing you all the hard stuff. It is only a few Allen keys, 12, 30 mil bolts, 10 mil. It's not a lot of work, it really isn't. It's well worth doing. For me, it's so satisfying. This is what I did in my truck. People look at me and think, I'm mad, I know, 16 plugs. Um, I did the speakers the other day. I pulled all the door panels off. They were vibrating so badly. I'll do Radio 4. If I want to go to the show, I want to have a boom, boom noise. It's got 2,000 watts under the seats um, and JBLs. And it had two 6 by 9s in either door. The front were Infinity. The rear were American 15 watt. 15 watt, 6 by 9 Who's ever heard of that? Now I've got 800 watts at the front, 850 at the back, and 2,000 watts. Yeah, it's going to blow my ears. Or really loud Radio 4. Da, 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 da. <laughs> but... Oh, I just enjoy doing little bits of work. I get so much satisfaction out of it. You may not go to a garage. If you're watching this, I'm guessing you are. Um, people started commenting on my service video. Uh, that's two weeks ago now, because I have to release them every week, because it's too much. And a guy said, um, do you know what? I'm going to attempt to try it myself. That's what this is about. A bit of entertainment for you while you're sitting here having a cup of tea. Mmm, cup of tea. So I try to make them entertaining by just being me. You know it's not an act. I just put a uh, cover, a bike cover. Didn't put my name on it. I was approached by a company to um, review their cover. That is where you, you don't know something about something, you know? It's not real, so I'm having to read up on it. And the real part was me putting it on, yes, it was a good cover. I'll give it nine out, half out of 10 on this bike because of luggage would have been a bit harder. But it wasn't me chatting, being honest. 
And I think that's what a lot of people will enjoy, hopefully, that I'm just an honest sort of guy that you meet down the pub who have a couple of beers with who won't shut up. <laughs> right, sounds. So, like all things, it wasn't just straightforward. But that is what you've got to understand. It may happen. You know, if you're in your garden and you've got no tools and you want to change the exhaust, it ain't going to happen. You've got to be able to think outside the box. Look, rub a bit there, could be a little bit straighter. I had to take it off several times to readjust it and then I turned the bolt round because it was actually sticking out because you didn't want to see it. Um, I had to make a little bracket. Getting that on, I had to practically knacker it to get it back out again to turn it round to put it on with some exhaust paste. But generally, it is on, it looks lovely. I've got to say, I had to make sure it missed everything. I had to pull it out a little bit because it was touching the plastic. Um, I had to put it off the stand to make sure it was out because it wasn't, it was tapping. So there's lots of little things you need to do. Please don't just slap on the exhaust and think, hey, done, where you go? Because it ain't gonna happen. Check, check again. Then I found a washer on the floor and I thought, oh, bugger. You yeah, know, it was only a washer, I knew where it came from, I undid a little bit, but I had to take lots of bits to get it off. Put it back on. Anyway. And now I'm going to start it for the first time. Wish me luck. much deeper. The little bits of smoke you're seeing is just all the bits that have been left in the exhaust and bashed around by me. It's all the little bits of carbon and stuff buggering off. So it's not going to do that. It's not an engine bad or anything. That sounds a lot deeper. Start it again. So, before... Oh wait, oh hello, um, she, she found this last night and um, yeah it's a new favourite toy, she just likes picking things up, anyway, ready? There we go. Leave me now with a few adjustments. It's just ever so slightly touching on the heat shield. Um, and when I took it off the frame, it is clearing it. I just want to make a few adjustments now. So I'm going to undo that a little bit and just twist it a little bit. Um, I may have to take it all off and rearrange the bracket. I don't think so because I'm quite happy with where the bracket is. And the next video will be a ride out on this one. Let's have a quick look around. You see what I'm saying? It's just slightly twisted. So it's just ever so slightly touching there. This is further back. Um, here's good, but from the arse you can just see it's slightly twisted at an angle, so I'd like it bent a little bit more that way. But it's not, it's not as bad as the original exhaust. Um, it's not, you know, tiny or anything. It looks still good. Very nice, deep, throaty sound. Mm. Everything is where it's supposed to be. 
do I think about getting the bracket because you can see it is angled differently I'll see what's on the old uh, internet and see if I'll uh, get one I mean it's only going to be a simple bracket to get that changed but then again I'm going to have to take the bolt out here and them two out of there in the bracket under there them off the four bolts under here the two bits under there and lift this all up yeah it's a bit of work isn't it but just satisfying oh look missing tiny clip which goes on them I've only got one left so is it worth putting it on probably not I've actually got some of these so I think I'll drag them out and put them on there again not chucking stuff away right thank you so much please like share and subscribe keep an eye out for my ride out video I'll do a vlog um, on this one you'll get to hear it as well I might go under the tunnel like I did with my uh, Z1000 so changing exhaust Unless it's 100% like brand new, and even them I've had to tweak before, you may come into little or few little problems that you have to overcome. Generally, hey, it's not rocket science. Take care of yourselves on the road. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Stay with me. Nearly 17,000 subscribers, um, over 490 videos, and 4.6 million views in all my videos. That is amazing, and that's down to you. Thank you so much. I know you don't love my cars or my peds or my trucks or, you know, my bikes, but I do thank you for watching what you do. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Not using the And when you're not using the cover, a dog will. Why? How am I going to get back in the bag now? Hmm? <laughs> Everybody, this is Millie. <laughs>